Fighting broke out overnight between rival factions along the Israeli-Syrian border. Initial reports claim Israeli jet fighters bombed a guerrilla base, killing at least 49 soldiers and 13 civilians. Hey, she yeah. ain't bad looking. Is that your wife? Is that your girlfriend? My girlfriend. A 49-year-old unidentified man went to Syria. You know the uh, best way to head up to Albuquerque from here? Well, you have to head back down toward Las Cruces. You have to take 25 north. Ought to take you about four hours. Wouldn't it be better if we just head on over here to Yellow Sands and take that 380 on over? A government Yellow Sands? I don't know if I'd go anywhere near Yellow Sands. Why not? Looks like it's half the distance. Clark! Make sure that there's a clean motel room on the way. I told you. We're gonna make in Rio Dulce tonight. Twelve even. You. I ain't a human being for about a hundred miles. Thanks for the advice. I know what his problem is. We're taking a shortcut. The history. Need any help? No, thanks. <laughs> hey! Hey, what? How about a story? Sure. Okay. I was having an incredible dream. So did I. It's called an ice cold beer in an air conditioned motel room. Come on, don't you want to hear my story? The suspense is killing me. Okay. I was back in time, in the Stone Age. I know because I had on one of those little animal skin outfits. Animal skin outfits? <laughs> mm. There were dinosaurs all over the place. They ate constantly, Clark. First, they started with the tops of the trees, and then they ate all the leaves until the forest was completely bare. 
So now I could be seen because there's no more leaves to eat. I was in deep shit. <laughs> yeah, so, so where was I? Well, that's what I wanted to know. See, there I was. I was about to be dinner for some dinosaur and you're off gathering berries or something. Gathering berries? It's my dream. I can put what I want in my dream. Yeah, well, yeah, to get to the good part. I mean, you know the part about the Tyrannosaurus Rex? As it grabbed you and you were kicking and screaming? And it stripped off that little animal skin outfit of yours? That sounds more like King Kong. My dream was more like, um, beauty and the beast. So there I was, Clark. I was being pursued by this huge brontosaurus who, as it turns out, was really just in love with me. <laughs> Where was I? You were the sex object. <laughs> But in the end, it was you who saved my life. You didn't know what it had Lisa, don't move. Okay. Just don't move. Or... It's right there. It's steady.
Anybody here? Anybody here? What you want? Just some gas. I, uh, I'm running on a spare. Looks like I'm gonna need a new one. Two hundred dollars. Two hundred dollars? Don't you think you're a little high? There's another station right up the road. About a hundred miles. All right, you got it. Gave this guy 200 bucks to fix the damn flat. Oh, let's just get it done and get out of here. All right, by me. What's going on around here? Some kind of plague or something? Actually, I was talking about all these snakes all over the place. Where are they going? Straight to hell. Where they belong. <laughs> I think what you mean is they're heading south, huh? Nothing's the same as it used to be around here. Animals all know they gotta get the hell out. Don't know where to go. They don't know where to stay. They end up in the middle of the road. The drop light flies. Yeah, you know, I think I know what you mean. Uh, and I just ran over about 100 snakes back down the road here. I mean, they were all grouped together in a road, like some kind of a mass exodus or something. Ain't God punishing the desert. It's people tearing up the heaven and earth, testing bombs beneath our feet, poisoning the air and the water, turning this place into one big dumping ground. Well, I guess before too long, everything's gonna be extinct. Almost everything. The rest of the bastards, the strong ones that survive, they're different. I'll kill them myself. You looks like a nice dog. Lady. Sure was. Sorry. Everybody's sorry. Sorry bastards killed my dog. Did she run over? Snake bite me. Snake bite? Huh, but didn't they have some kind of an antidote or something like that? Did that. It was too late. There. Well, <clears throat> thanks. You, uh, you got a bathroom around here? Key says, toilet.
thought you said your dog was dead. Said lots of things. Get out of here. Don't hold your breath. Grab the birds there, will you? Oh, birdies. What's wrong? You guys sick? Lisa, Lisa, get back. What? Where'd it go? Did you see where it went? Uh, Clark, we gotta get you to a hospital. Mm -hmm. yeah. hey, buddy, what's, yeah. what's going on? He got bit by a snake. What if that thing's poisonous? <laughs> Excuse me, sir, but I get that taken care of right away if yeah. I were you. Them poisonous suckers can kill you. The thing you don't want uh, is for the bad blood to circulate. Let me wrap this up for you. See, nowadays, snakes got some ass kicking venom in them. Lord's testing his children. Mean motherfuckers. Mommy, mommy! Heather said so, then it's true. Come on, Mildred. It's past Heather's bed. Clark. But it's probably halfway to Phoenix by now. Uh, uh, come on inside, good buddy. Uh, let's get this taken care of. That's okay. Do it. Mm. The Colibrid family. Harry. You mean you really know them? That's the scientific name, Georgie. Around here, you call them chicken snakes. Oh. You don't have to worry much, unless, of course, you're a chicken. <laughs> well, I guess I'm in the clear, then. Mm -hmm. Nobody saw it. What if it was a rattlesnake or something? Ooh, I hate snakes. You mean a crotalina? Yes, Ooh. whatever. Uh, if he got bitten by a crotalina, or most of any of the snakes around here, this antidote will take care of it. Now, don't worry, Lisa. I'm not gonna croak without putting up a fight. Mm. A fight is right. Oh, my God. I just can't stand seeing anybody suffer. Can I get you a drink or something? No, thanks. 
How it works is that I inject you with venom extract and your immune system uses it to create antibodies. Like a vaccination. Exactly. I'm giving your body some snake to fight the snake venom with. Make a fist. Oh my God, I can't look. I just tape needles. <coughs> This shouldn't hurt. At least not you. There, you fixed. You should be okay now. Well, what do I owe you, Doc? Oh, my Just God. say that louder so my mother should hear. Dr. Harry Morton. Eh, Georgie? Right. No, God didn't want I should wear a white coat and play golf on Wednesdays. You're not a doctor? I'm a businessman, buying, selling, buying, mostly selling. Customers just love giveaways. Best advertising a small budget can buy. Thanks. I'm Clark Newman, and yeah. this is Lisa. Oh. And I'm Georgie. I'm the hotel clerk, and you're my guest tonight. <laughs> so, how come you know so much about snakes? A traveling salesman from Brooklyn who travels the Dust Bowl should know from snakes. Huh, Georgie? Right, Terry. Watch this. Lisa. I refuse to ever get back inside of that car again. Oh, baby. Mm, I bet that that snake is just waiting for me to slide my bum right into that front seat, then bang. You heard what that little girl said. She said she saw it running away. Clark, when I was her age, I lied like a rug. Now, you don't think little Heather would tell a lie now, do you? Thanks. That makes me feel a whole lot better. I can tell. <laughs> I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Tomorrow morning, I'm going to search that car from top bottom, leaving no reptile left unturned.
Catalina la Casis Muta. Or at least it looks like one. <sighs> Georgie, can't you see it's dead? The Bushmaster. Largest poisonous snake in the Western Hemisphere. Western Hemisphere? <laughs> What's it doing here? This is the Western Hemisphere, Georgie. <gasps> Despite your ignorance, you know you're half right. The Bushmaster belongs in a bush, someplace tropical. I wonder how it got here. One thing certain, it sure didn't walk. Unless it's a mutant. A what? Georgie, you know how come you'll never kill off cockroaches? Because they mutate every time you use a new insecticide. They uh, develop a, a tolerance, learn to live with it even. Even human animals change in a changing environment. The law of the jungle. Todavía está aquí. Maria, can't you see it's dead? It, it, it's, a, it's a Bushmaster. Mutant. Mutant, sh mutant. I just wish I knew before that this was the guilty party. But Harry, what difference does it make now? That lucky guy's alive and kicking somewhere. That's more than you can say for that. His kind of luck I wouldn't want in Vegas. But Harry, you gave him an antidote. I saw you do it. I'm a witness. True. There were witnesses when I gave that antidote. Jealous husband eats, cheating wife. Love led one newlywed man to murder his young bride when he suspected that she was cheating on him. <sighs> they probably couldn't stand the thought of anybody else ever having her. Don't you think that that's just a little bit extreme? <laughs> not if he was totally in love with her, it's not. Clark, if he loved her, how could he have done that to her? It was easy. It was either kill her or kill himself. You see, in a way, eating her was out of an act of love. Hmm. Have you ever felt that way? What, hunger? No. Jealous. Oh. Well, no. I never really care for anybody enough, actually. I met you. <laughs> you are jealous. I just better not wake up tomorrow morning with a couple of fights taken out of my mind. I would commit Harry Carey before I'd ever touch a single hair on your head. You can bank on that. Assets? Just a business and a little nest egg for when I retire. What do you mean I won't need it in jail? Dispensing medicine without a license. I was only trying to help. What kind of a shyster lawyer are you, Bernie? Manslaughter? He can't kick the bucket, Bernie. You see, when I retire, it's gonna be in Miami and not Sing Sing. Breaker Breaker 1-9, Snake Eyes here. I'm trying to locate a couple of kids in the silver Jeep heading south on 25. Last seen in Las Lunas at Smiley's Motel. Can any of you good buddies out there help me? 10-4, over. Roger, Snake Eyes. This is Deathwick. You know you for them bumper stickers. But don't you worry. I always pay my debts. 
pigeon the jeep passes some bad checks or something? Say the word, good buddy. Make my incarnation. Very thoughtful of you, Death Wish, but I just need to find him, not mutilate him. It's a personal matter. Personal matter, my ass. Harry Morton, where are you? And what in hell's name are you up to? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, this here is me! <laughs> How's you two doing? <laughs> hey, Flo, from what I hear, Harry's just about up them the old pair of watermelons right about now. Hey, hang in there and have a good time, you old whipper, you. <laughs> Beef, you old home wrecker, do me a favor. Keep your eyes peeled for that Jeep. No plate number yet. Now, don't you yell at me, Flo. I'm on 25 South, coming up behind Elephant View Reservoir. Kitten, I thought you'd be up north by now. <laughs> I bet you did. So you find yourself some sweet, young, warm thing in a jeep to keep you warm. Flo, I can't explain now, but you gotta understand. It's my business. I, I could lose my shirt. Harry, you be a good little boy and come on home to Mom tonight. She got two jugs of warm milk and she'll get tied out of the oven. Just waiting for you. Save me some, huh, Flo? Oh, yeah. Over and out, big guy. Oh, whatever Flo wants. Flo in. Great time. My head is killing me. It's gonna make you feel better. I just know it. Come on. Hey, hey, come on. How you doing, darling? Jimmy. Beer's getting warm. Sure. Beer? Who wants beer? Pretty girl? I'm dying to. <laughs> hey, bartender, do you want to give my friend here another beer? Just one song. Hey, don't worry, I'll bring it right back to you. I know you will.
there's trouble up ahead. I see the neon lights are glowing. This exit's gonna take a little time. I see them flashing out a warning, but I know before the morning, sleep will be the last thing on my mind. And it's a long way down from the top of the mountain. Gotta get my boots on solid ground. And it's a long Somebody, mister? Huh? Will you come on out of there, Jim, trying to slap me for what? Listen here, city boy. I'm warning you. You come out of here now. Come on out of there now, boy. to Mr. I commit Harry Carey before I touch a hair on your head. What? A couple of beers and you get all macho on me? You know, Clark, you don't own me. You don't even know me. What did you think that after a couple of weeks that I would just drop everything and run away and be with you? I've got plans. Damn it, I don't need this. I don't need anybody. First thing tomorrow morning, I want you to drop me off. I don't care where it is.
All right, Harry. Who is she? A slut in the Jeep. Nobody else could fill your shoes. It's just my mind is someplace else. Tell me something I don't know. I'm in trouble. I tried to help somebody out. <laughs> Lesson number one. It's every man for himself in this country. He got bitten by a snake. If that snake is the snake I think it is, I gave him the wrong antidote. Unless I get to him fast, that guy's a goner. And what's worse, he can sue the pants off of me. If he finds you. They got my sponge. Well, why not let the police handle it? That's what we pay him for. Police? Flo, my lawyer says I'm liable for everything. From, from negligence to criminal manslaughter if he... My only hope is to reach him while he's still alive, give him the right antidote, and convince him to settle out of court. For which, I will pay through the nose. Honey, I gotta move my rig.
Where are the birds? I'll let them go. <gasps> You're kidding, right? This goddamn car! Clyde, stop the car! Stop it! God damn it, stop this goddamn car! Shut up! What the fuck is the matter with you? Are you crazy? License and registration. What's your hurry? I asked you a question. What's your hurry? You want to give me a ticket and give it. Clark. <laughs> you know, with that kind of back talk, she was going to get a hell of a lot more than just a ticket. Tell me about your arm. What happened to it? Nothing. Really? I suppose you wouldn't mind taking that bandage off and showing me your arm. Show it to him, Clark. Get a warrant? Do I have a warrant? Get your ass out of this car right now, Junior, and open up the back. Just show it to him. Right fucking now. Permit for that. Not for this state. Not for my county. I'm starting to like this. You know, we're pretty close to the border here, and I can smell drugs a mile away. And you Think of. Clark, just show it to him. Lock him up. Why? Come on, why? All you had to do was show me off. It's a snake bite, all right? That's it. It's a snake bite. Of course it is. Lock him up. Was it something you wanted to talk to me about? Something you want to show me? Share with me? I'd be much obliged if you meet me at the Sheriff's Department in about an hour. Fresh tea. to me. Nothing that a couple of weeks behind bars isn't gonna clean up, though. Hey, man, what's taking you? Miss Johnson's about ready to bust loose. 
Hey, Billy. We picked up a narcotics addict from out of state. We're bringing him in. Sheriff, he looks pretty bad. Good. Some people got to learn the hard way. Son, all you had to do was show me your arm. Billy, did I tell you what happened to my deputy the other night? It's a beaut. I'm all ears. Barney here on my night off decided he was going to clean up my county. Sheriff, uh... Yes, sir. Decided to take the law into his own itty-bitty lily-white hands. Well, you'll keep it down back there. I'm trying to tell a story here. Sorry, Billy. Anyhow, Barney decided he was single-handedly going to shut down Maggie's cat house. I don't know exactly what happened, but somehow the ladies got a hold of Barney's handcuffs and handcuffed Barney to his own dick. <laughs> Slipped right off. When I calmed down. Oh, shit, I don't know how you done this. <laughs> Will you shut up? I'll be talking to you later, Billy. I'm gonna take it to you. Take a look at this. Yes, sir. what I was doing all that time, wasn't there, Barney? Huh? No, I'm not going to no Clark, doctor. You're okay. sick. No. Honey, they'll help you. Come on. No! Breaker 19, this here is beef. I just saw your Jeep. 184 MHB. I didn't see the guy. I think he's sleeping. She's driving. She's driving me right out of my school, Harry. <laughs> Where are they, beef? Head west on 10, down around Winslow exit. They turned around. What's in Winslow? Nothing really, except a brand new hospital full of real hot nurses. <laughs> hey, Beef, I owe you a date with Florence Nightingale. Over and out. <laughs> Hello, Clark. I'm Dr. Mortar. How are you feeling? Well, you don't have to answer. 
I assume you're not feeling too great if you ended up here. I'm going to give you a light sedative so you'll be more comfortable, okay? Girlfriend Lisa says that you've been blacking out, convulsing. She thinks it might have something to do with a snake bite. Why don't we have a look at the arm? Lisa says that uh, you're heading out to California. It's a beautiful state. Can't beat the weather. I'm sure you're gonna love it out there. We took a trip out there. I think it was last year. Drove up the coast. It's a spectacular drive. Do it if you have the time. I'm just gonna cut through the gauze now. Clark Newman, he was bitten by a snake, left hand. Uh, yes, he's down the hall in the examination room on the left. Thank you. Extraordinary. Newman, Clark, male, age 23, single. Snake bite to the left hand. In the web between the index finger and thumb. Symptoms, loss of consciousness, convulsing, fever, vomiting. Diagnosis. The neurotoxins contained in this venom encountered the immune system's T cells, replacing and invading the genetic code of the patient's forearm, modifying its structure. Cause unknown. Hypothesis. Like some fungi, this particular venom must have symbiotic properties. Infected by the neurotoxins, the immune system's T cells do not die, rather accept the foreign DNA and allow it to replicate. Antibodies produced by a previous administration of an antidote appear to have had neither adverse nor beneficial effects against neurotoxins of this order. I'm going to bring in a specialist. But first, I need to take a blood sample. Do you understand what I'm saying to you?
I'm gonna do whatever I can for you. I promise. Mr. Newman? Mr. Newman, am I glad you're all right? It's me, Harry, the guy who saved your life. I, I, I know you think maybe I could have saved it better the first time, but I promise you, this time I'm really going to save it. <laughs> Not that the last time I, I gave it a wrong antidote, just a no frills one. Unfortunately, uh, you got bitten by a brand name snake. I had a heck of a time finding you, you know. Uh, two and a half days on the road. Took a big loss. <laughs> but who needs money when you got your health? Uh, wh which reminds me, uh, I got a piece of paper here at my lawyer and I. Uh, we'd appreciate if you sign. Uh, it's a release form. Uh, releasing me from any uh, liability. Say, God forbid anything should happen to you uh, as a result of the antidotes. Uh, yeah, I, 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 I got a, I got a pen here. Uh, it's right here, Mr. Freeman. Oh, lady, you need a doctor. Hey, catching at a bad time, right? If there's one thing a successful salesman learns is timing. So I'll. Uh, Catch you later. I just said that right there. You sign it, Eddie. I I only just wanted to help. You know, nowadays you see somebody lying in the middle of the street bleeding to death. It's it's better you should let him die. Because if he lives and you helped him, he can sue you and probably win. Lisa, I saw Lisa downstairs. I, I didn't want to bother because I <laughs> don't screw with me. Hey, I swear I won't tell anybody if that's what you're worried about. I. Oh, God. Doctor, say. Did she give you any medication? 
captive and I told you not to bring me here? What the fuck is the matter with you? I was just trying to help. Come on, talk to me. What did I do? Never ask why one of his children has done wrong. I will not ask either. God only asks if one is in need of help. I am offering you my help. Listen, I don't care what it takes, I want it done. So what do you think? 
Should I let you go? Now, if I do, you promise me you're gonna stay inside my county? I... Say what? Yes. That'd be real smart. Because if you leave my county, I'm gonna find you. And then, I'm gonna find out exactly what you've got. See, the way I figure it, he's going to contact you. And when he does, you're going to contact me. Because you're a real smart person. Ain't you? Sure. I didn't hear you. I said sure. I'll, I'll do what you want. I just want to help. Of course you do. Because you're a smart person. I'll be seeing you. Thanks, that's all I need to know. is always testing us, but for every trial, he brings a remedy. Amen. Amen. Come, Lisa, sit. Sit and break bread with us. Clark needs to see a doctor. In this family, we don't depend much on doctors and such. Salvation is mine, saith the Lord, the balm of Gilead. It isn't right for a man to tinker with glory, stick tubes in us, fill us with drugs and chemicals. Why we don't even do that to the land? Why should we do it to ourselves? Look, Clark has been very badly wounded by a snake. I'm sure that the two of you have been very kind to Clark. I don't know how to thank you, but right now, all I really want to do is get Clark so we can go. OK? Don't, don't see what all the rush is. Your man could do with a little rest. Maybe you could, too. There is no need for you to leave before morning. Mama, I want to see the hand. Now, dear, do not shout. If you ask nicely, I'm sure he will show you. When do I get a look under the bandages? Now, what is under the bandages? It's the Lord's business. He already knows what is there and how to take care of it. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. <laughs> He 
Lisa. It wasn't me. I couldn't stop the thing. I tried. Oh, God, Lisa, help me. I cut the thing off. You cut off your hand? It's not my hand. It's a snake. I'm never gonna let it hurt you, Lisa. It's not gonna hurt anyone anymore. You don't have to run away. It's not you who did all those things. You just said so yourself. It's not your fault. Tomorrow we'll go to the police. We'll explain everything. They'll understand. There must be something that they can do to help us. I believe you, Clark. I know that they're going to believe you, too. Just don't leave me. I love you so much, Lisa. Tell me again. Come closer and I'll show you. Have you eaten the fruit of the tree from which I commanded you not to eat? Man said, the woman you gave me to be with gave me fruit of the tree and I did eat. The Lord God said to the woman, what is this you have done? The serpent tempted me, said the woman, and I ate. Second call from the Erickson's neighbors, confirming that a man fitting the description of Clark Newman is in the Erickson's house. What is it, honey? I'm a loser, Flo. I always wanted to be a doctor, and here I am, a lousy salesman. <laughs> doctor. I couldn't even get someone a right antidote. Now, Harry, you did what you thought was right. I'm a schmuck. Coward. I couldn't defend myself. I passed out. Harry Morton, you are not a coward. Would a coward risk losing his business, risk going to jail, admitting this whole mess to the police? I don't know, Flo. I don't know who I am anymore. I know who you are. Sheriff. Would you like to get into something?
Silver Jeep, license 184 MHB. Sighted leaving the Erickson's house, presumably headed toward construction site on Caldwell Road. Repeat, all units proceed to construction site on Caldwell Road. Thank <laughs> you. 